Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing weekly premium August challenge one. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. This is a 2361 minimum cost using the train line. So maybe it's an interesting farm, maybe it's not. Uh, we'll be doing these all month, so definitely, yeah. Hope y'all enjoying it. All right, let's see. Let's actually read the problem. Uh, a train line going through the city has two routes. The regular and express route, both route goes the same N plus, okay. Initially, you start at the regular route at zero. You're given two one indexed integer arrays. Uh, you're given regular array and a express array, both of length for N. A regular I describes the cost details from stop I minus one to stop I using the regular route. And express I describes the cost it takes to go from stop I minus one to stop I using the express route. Say what? Okay, you one index in the drill, right? Okay, fine. What why does why does it matter that they're one indexed? Hmm. Oh, because uh, what? I'm so confused. Right, let me give me a second. Let me actually read this. This is so much reading. Okay, so regular sub i is going to the next stop and express sub i goes. Okay, so it just goes from i minus one to i stop. Okay. You also give it express cost, which the cost from regular to express well. There's no cost to. Oh, so, go, so going back from the thing, it doesn't matter. Every time you transfer, you have to pay the express cost. There's no extra cost to stay on the express route. Okay. All right. I mean, this is just straightforward DP, even though it's very kind of um, confusing uh, to read, really. But it, it seems pretty straightforward, right? Basically, every stop of the way, um, you're either on, on on the express stop or you're not on the, or you're on the regular stop, and you have two decisions: you have to you stay on the regular stop or you go on the express stop. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So let, let's get started, right? Um, yeah, uh, I think yeah. The way that I want to write this, and I haven't seen this before, right, is that okay? Let's let's uh, yeah, let's kind of write it out. Um, Wait, what is the... Okay. From I... Oh, to I. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, so I think... One thing to recognize about this particular problem is that it's symmetric, right? Meaning that going forward and backwards is roughly speaking the same idea, or you're going to get the same cost on this one. So uh, knowing that, it, it allows us to kind of do it in a better way, or, or it allows us to kind of calculate it backwards. Otherwise, if you kind of... Um, if you build off the idea otherwise mm, yeah I mean it depends how you want to phrase it I guess exactly right but okay but yeah let's, let's define our functions uh, and because you want it just depends how you want to define the state and, and the transitions uh, I think it mostly is the same idea but yeah let's just say um, we have uh, uh, regular stop uh, of index, right? So how are we define our function? This is, okay. Um, how do, uh, this is the minimum cost from stop zero to stop index. I think they were, they were, they were a little bit wrong. The one index thing is kind of weird the way that they phrase it because uh, maybe not. I mean, still very awkward that, you know, they could have just redefined it differently or just returned a zero for zero index. 
I don't know. Uh, anyway, okay. Yeah, and then the other function you would define is express stop index, right? So the minimum cost from stop zero to stop index x uh, express stop currently or something like this, man. This is regular stop. Okay. So here, uh, yeah, if index is equal to zero, then it's just zero because then there's no cost as far as I know. I could be wrong. Hmm. But yeah. Otherwise, then now the the two sources that you can come from. This is why you have to think a little bit backwards, which is a little bit tough sometimes, depending on the problem. This one seems okay, right? So you you have two choices to kind of come from, right? Which is regular stop index minus one. We were from the previous stop, and the cost of this is going to be plus uh, regular of index maybe or index. It, the the one index thing is kind of tricky. I I don't know if this is index or index minus one. Um, because it is, so th this is one index, but then this is also one in. No, yeah. So th I think this is true, but but this this that part is not the the tricky part anyway. So yeah. Um, otherwise, we may be coming from an express stop, right? Which is the same thing, plus uh. Yeah. I think this is right, right? Like I said, maybe I'm off by one on indexing, but that, but but there's no cost going from the express route to get off to at the regular stop. So it, we only have these two uh, previous possibilities, and and yeah. So then now we take the min of it, and that's basically the idea. This this is it really, right? Um. And now we have to do the express stop. This one may be a little bit more interesting. Uh, same idea of the index. If we uh, are already at the zero, in the, is that true? Hmm. Maybe the zero, Maybe the base case is wrong. I have to revisit this. But so oh, uh, huh. I think this is actually infinity. Uh, because you cannot start on the zero f stop on the express stop, right? Because you always have to. Oh, actually, maybe you can. Uh, it's just the cost. So, okay, maybe it's not infinity. Uh, eh, it depends how you want to say, it, right? So it may be just express cost. Um, because if it's zero, that means that you can actually. I mean, you're not starting from it, but technically, this express cost is a regular stop of zero plus express cost, but of course this is zero, so I, I'm, we're just kind of skipping it here, uh, right? Maybe I, could, ooh, maybe I could leave it up for, for learning purposes and state transition, but yeah, so, okay. And then now we just kind of look at each line, right? So we can either, we could, so if we're coming from the previous express stop, you know, is this thing uh, if we or the other thing is that we're taking we, we, we transfer from the regular stop uh, and in this case it's actually this plus express cost right um, and in a similar way you can actually write this as in, uh, coming from here directly with no cost um, but I think that actually ends up being like an infinite loop so don't do that but but yeah you can also kind of write it similar to the other way with this kind of if you want to if you worry about it being a dag right because then now we just do and then now go do this right um mm, no this isn't quite right right because there are two ways from the last regular stop you can go you can think about it as going uh, local and then taking express or taking express and then that, which in this case would be something like duh, 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 duh. Uh, something like this, right? Actually, and so that's why you may want to do something like this so that it kind of encompasses uh, all, all those cases. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this should be good. And then now we just return, oh, return, return, uh, you know, uh, regular stop. Uh, of x for x f in range from 1 to n, is it? Maybe? N or, n or n minus n plus 1. Because this one index thing is really confusing for me. I'm not used to it, I guess. Uh, but I think n is fine. Uh, and then we down the list. Oops. Uh, Okay, so I did miss one. Oops. Easy thing to fix, so that, that, I'm not really that worried about this one. Yeah, uh, it looks good, feels good. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if, if you know from my DP videos, of course we have to do the memorization. I like to do it last. Uh, so yeah, so now let's just say it has regular cash. Uh, is it gonna force times n plus one maybe? Uh, uh, the, the, the n plus one is just being lazy because I don't, I don't know. Uh, Otherwise, otherwise. And that's pretty much it, really. I mean, uh, you can kind of think of it as, I mean, this makes sense, right? There are only n, n, uh, n train stops, and there are also only n express stops. So, yeah. Uh, and then we have to do it for this one as well. Uh, if I could type better, that would be <laughs> nice. And that's pretty much it. This is linear time, linear space. Uh, yeah, let's give it a quick submit. Hopefully, I didn't miss a, an edge. And yeah, 12, 18 day streak. I thought the other thing made very well. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for this one. I think uh, a lot of the different solutions that people generally write, you, you can actually combine most of these into one function. Uh, with another dimension, which is fine, but I like to separate uh, separate them out uh, because it's just clear it for in terms of understanding of what you actually are doing. And as you can see, uh, even though the formulas are kind of similar, uh, they are just enough that you may, you're going to do an if statement anyway. So why not make it slightly cleaner? Um, the, the only tricky thing is that it can be a little bit uh, tough to kind of see the um, to keep everything um, as a DAG, but and we managed it so yeah um that's all i have for this one let me know what you think and yeah stay good stay healthy take your mental health have a great rest of the month i'll see you later and take care bye bye